How to create a hierarchy chart on Canva. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. We are going to be using Canva today and we are, we are going to be creating a hierarchy chart uh, using it. So basically this is going to help us quite a lot uh, because Canva is not only a place where you can actually edit, uh, you know, templates and stuff and photos and all those things, but you can actually go ahead and find uh, pre-built templates and work from there. So it's, just, it's actually going to make our job a lot easier basically so let's just go ahead and show you how to get started first if you don't have an account go ahead and create an account using canva.com uh, it's for free and then we can just go ahead and go to the search box down here and then just type in hierarchy um, and then chart and then there should be quite a lot to choose from we have this one we have that one so just first based off of how these look like uh, you want to choose the one that actually is going to suit your needs uh, most. So you can just go ahead and see the quantity of the boxes and stuff. But we can increase them later on. But, you know, it's just going to make it a lot easier if we have an exact number of them. And just for the simplicity of it, I'm just going to select this uh, chart over here. But you can just go ahead and feel free to choose whichever one that you actually like. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up this one right here. And I'm just going to click on customize this template. And now we are basically going to be editing things from within this template. Now, I highly suggest that you actually zoom in a little bit so you can just hold control. And with the mouse wheel, you can just zoom in a little bit. Uh, and then from here, we have the boxes, uh, which, you know, we can actually change or add more boxes if you want and i will show you how to do so but first let's say you have the um, normal quantity of, you, you want exactly the same quantity what we would what we want to do next is pretty much just change the text items so for for example here you would want to change the company organizational chart to your company's name or whatever you want it to be the title so i'm just going to name it test uh, chart and then we can just move on to the next one. So here we have the box here. So we can just go ahead and double click on it. And then it's going to be highlighted for us. Where we can just go ahead and change the name to, well, the name of the director. So, you know, we can actually go ahead and, again, just enter some test uh, text here. And then we can also change the title the same way. Just double click on it and add whatever you want. So now that we basically know how to change the text of the actual um uh charts here how do we actually like create uh more boxes uh that we ha we can actually use so let's say this uh second row we want to, to actually change uh or add another box we can basically first just go ahead and try to highlight all the items in here and it is already grouped but if it if it is not grouped you would want to select and highlight these items and then just group them and then what we what we want to do sorry about my english today i don't, I don't know what's happening uh we can just go ahead and click on duplicate and it's just going to create another one for us and we can just go ahead and place it to the right and we can just go ahead and start making these smaller so we can actually fit them and now there's going to be a lot of a little bit of details here you will need to actually go ahead and have more lines added uh, and you want to make things um, smaller accordingly you can just go ahead and hold shift so you can actually make it smaller and move things around uh, the way you actually like now obviously i'm not really going to go through all of that but you can feel free to do so now what if there's there are images in your templates that you have chosen uh, for example images within each box to actually replace the images is very simple you will need to just go ahead and go to uploads and then let's say you want to use this image instead of the one that is already there you want to just drag it right on top of that image and it's just going to be replaced for you so just go ahead and set up the um, chart to your liking we can just go ahead and um, duplicate this one as well if i can just do that and we can just go ahead and centralize it here for example we can just make all of these smaller like so and you can also hold shift so you don't really lose the dimensions while you are making it, uh, things smaller uh, and then we can just go ahead and you know add more lines to add more lines you can just simply copy the ones that are already existing or you can just go ahead and duplicate them with Control d and you can just move them around the way you like 
So this is pretty much how to create hierarchy charts simply with Canva. Hopefully you found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching.